Hello everyone and welcome to the conclusion of the 2021 Love at First Sting. Taking place on Sunday, February 7th, this PDGA C-Tier concludes at the Eager Beaver Disc Golf Course. Tara Miller, otherwise known as the Disc Golf Guy, we're both here. One's got a giveaway and one's just hanging out telling you stupid stuff. So here we are. I opted to move down to the catch position here to open the back nine here on hole number 10. I didn't think I'd be able to see the basket. Whoop, almost got my head taken off. I didn't think I'd be able to see the basket from the tee. And, um, well, I ended up getting most of the shots here. <laughs> We've got Michael Johansson is your outright leader right now. Alex Zyrus throwing this tee shot, keeping it nice and low. Park job for Alex. Tal Wombeck sits at six under, and Paul Ulibarri sits at five under. So right now, it looks like MJ's in complete control. And we'll see if anyone can catch him. There are plenty of birdies on this course as MJ continues to rack them up. That is MJ's seventh birdie in a row. Maybe a Charlie horse or something there for Yuli. Trying to shake it out. MJ started with three straight pars and then now has birdied the last seven in a row. Just really putting it together. Tal, on the other hand, had started out with four straight par or four straight birdies, took a bogey, and then followed up with a birdie. So we've seen some streaks out here. And MJ didn't like it right out of his hands. Hole number eleven comes in right in the middle of the pack in terms of difficulty. Average is two point five eight. Tree kicks him back, but he, relatively unobstructed. Smooth and nearly flawless forehand there by Tal. Yuli's calling it. <laughs> How did that not go in, he utters. I don't know. I was ready. I told him after he had thrown the shot, I said, Yuli, I was completely dialed in. I had the zoom. I had the angle. I had the focus. And you disappointed me. <laughs> Yuli also in disbelief of that not going in. It certainly looked good. This is after going deep. Yeah, and that is right on the center of the pole. Great putt by Yulubari. Yuli spoke during the morning round about a few of the projects, working on the Scratch to Scratch project and the uh, video series, completing that the day before, also playing a few practice rounds. Paul McBath, Paige Pierce, Brody Smith all in town the day before. And it seems like Tal has uh, momentarily cooled off here, taking four pars in the last five holes. At one point, he was even ahead of MJ. So we moved to 213 foot, hole number 12. Not quite enough wobble for me. <laughs> MJ thinks it's short. Gets a little love off the tree there. <laughs> Alex is getting excited about the jumpers. And too much turn. So not, no one really dialed here on hole 12. 
seventh most difficult hole on the course. Average is 2.68, so. Here's Alex with a jumper from the fairway. I don't know. Somebody could roll that back. That was like 78 steps. I don't know, 110 feet maybe? 130 feet? <laughs> okay, I, I get it, people. It wasn't that long. It was a great jumper, though. It's, it's, MJ continues to struggle with his straddles, and that one... <laughs> I'll let Yuli call it. He calls it trash. I'll call it fortunate. Says he loves the ringers. Big shout out. Scorpion Disc Golf. Talking about putting on upwards of 30 sanctioned events here this year. Not here at this course, but in general. So now we head over to 13. The second most difficult. And also, coincidentally, one of the longer holes on the course. Averaged exactly 3.0. We'll see what our card can do with it. Come out. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly, it looked like it stayed clean. And that doesn't have any turn out of tail. I'm not sure why Tal wouldn't go to the forehand. I'm guessing he just doesn't feel comfortable at that range. Um, but that would surprise me if he doesn't have that kind of a shot as Yuli almost jumps it up and in. And playing downhill with a, a sloped green. You see the smart play, just laying it up by Tal. Alex was online. He's clearly got something going with those jumpers. Yuli finds dead center chain. MJ realizes what <laughs> Alex and Tal were just talking about. The three of them, all with various pink putters. So that's what you should leave in the comments for me. You guys told me what your favorite putter was uh, during round one. Thank you to Sail on Enterprises. Um, what's your favorite color of disc? Or, or maybe tell me the color you avoid. That's what I'd love to know. We see all sorts of conditions as Yuli plays the gentle hyzer. If you like and comment as to your favorite color of disc, that's what I need to know. Well, the drawing and a giveaway. Looks like this is just a high hyzer. 243, you're probably throwing about 270, maybe 280 power, if even that. That one doesn't quite hit the same window. Mm. I guess I'll tell, I think that's a whale, which is not a putter you see all too often. Yuli stringing them together, though. That is three out of his last four. Hole 14 playing right in the middle of the field. In terms of difficulty, 2.58 is the average. And we'll see the three birdies... 
Tail left out of the party. It's PDGA C tier. <laughs> you really liked it. Uh, as we were leaving the previous hole, we saw, I heard MJ, we had a conversation about this reminiscing to uh, Colebrook <laughs> Park in Michigan, Kalamazoo, Michigan, technically Climax, Michigan. Uh, one of my favorite courses to play, very tight and wooded, and there's a course that's, or a hole, I should say, that's very similar to this one. Oh, it's just dropping. Man, that was right on line, too. And that it plays out along a water's edge, just a hyzer. Not really appealing to go up the middle at all. So the righty hyzer's the shot. This one is a little bit shorter, though. We'll see if Tal can get something going again. He's got five pars in a row, which on this course, I mean, you would take five pars over at Angry Beaver all day. On this course, however, pars feel like bogeys on some of these holes. So he picks one up there. That's going to push him to seven. He's right there in the thick of things with both Yuli and Alex. Alex saves the par. But Yuli wants to pull ahead of them question is, is there enough between uh, him and MJ? Let's see what the disc golf guy has to say. Fine. One more giveaway. It's our fourth and final one, at least via YouTube, with our friends over at SixSidedDisc.com. They have four different mystery packs. You go out to their site, you can see which one suits you the best, They've got the Crusher, the Technician, the Luminescent, the Creative. All of those are options for you. And what I need you to do is be a Patreon subscriber of the Disc Golf Guy. I know that might not seem fair. You may not want to be a Patreon subscriber. But I got to show a little more love for all of those people that support me video after video after video. I set mine up a little different than some of the other channels, so please, if you have any questions, let me know as to how it works on my end, but I gotta show some love. All my Patreon subscribers, so gracious, and thank you so much to Six Sided Discs for teaming up with me for this weekend, giving away a dozen plus discs, and jumping on and being supportive of Love at First Sting. So there it is. Be a Patreon subscriber. I will draw seven days after this video has dropped, and whatever my Patreon list looks like then, I will pull from one of those, and that will be our winner. And you'll get hooked up with a three-disc mystery pack. All right, let's close this tournament out. It's been a good one. Let's close it out. Again, thank you, SixSidedDisc.com. I don't know. I'm starting to like that guy. He's always giving stuff away. Thanks to SixSidedDisc.com. And I, and I already promised in the front half of this particular round, I said I'd have a single disc giveaway, and then also on this back half, I'll give a, a disc away as well. Those will come out of my stash. Yuli needs... <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's got to love that tree. He needs a little uh, help here. Just three holes left to play. And uh, one of the most technical, solid players on the planet has a three-stroke advantage over him. Ah... Uh, Second tree. Good second tree, exactly. Hole 16, one of the more difficult holes, statistically. Out of the 19-person open field we have here today. And it's turned out to be just a, a gorgeous afternoon. We dealt with a little mist and rain in the morning. Angry beaver. As if we needed any more challenge over there. It's a good shot. Not quite the backstop that Yuli had, but a good good shot nonetheless. Let's 
solid birdie. Right there, sits at eight under. Worth mentioning, A.J. Carey from the chase card putting together a solid round at this point as well. Through 16, he is 10 under par uh, for the round, correction, and uh, he started, I believe, at two over, two or three over. A.J. Carey also first tournament with his uh, new sponsor in Dynamic Discs. Again, I can't say enough about my Patreon subscribers. This coverage would literally not have happened if it weren't for support that I get from Patreon. So I do appreciate each and every one of you as Yuli steps right in front of me. <laughs> He's about pin high, left side of the basket. This one filters down 308 feet, fourth most difficult hole. Oh, <laughs> he is, in fact, looks like he's about three, maybe five feet from Yuli. Oh. <laughs> and another one, also three to five feet from Yuli. Come join you guys. <laughs> and just kicks off the tree. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Wow, guys. We all had the right idea. We had the basically right idea. A little, little right. Yeah, right. It would be over there if it was right if I get right. Pretty fun. All right, MJ, trying to put this thing away, moves to 13 under. Fair to say Alex is about the same distance. No way, I missed it. Not quite enough. This average 2.84. Tail <laughs> not quite enough. <laughs> Yuli can pull away from the other two. You, it was you, you, and you. <laughs> Michael, years yours was low, too. <laughs> I don't know. Blame game. You guys didn't have to try and get them close to the ground. On your <laughs> I couldn't help but razz a little. All right. Moving into the final hole, 249 uphill. With OB to the right, pretty straightforward shot. And MG wants that to turn. And you see it just up to the right of your screen there. The OB sidewalk, that road where that car was just a moment ago, actually comes into play almost immediately. Playing the skit. Yuli said he wanted to get the ace for me. Everybody is promising metal hits and aces galore during the second round. We're running out of opportunities. <laughs> so Tal's out of bounds. And that stays in bounds. One last jumper. Man, Alex. So close. <laughs> Very impressive. Fun to watch you, buddy. It was a pleasure. I believe that was the first time I've ever filmed you. Same with Tal. And uh, a couple of great guys here. Had a lot of fun. And the pink putter is in. <laughs> Yuli's going to use his own mark. 
Although they felt like they went out at the same spot. Yuli's going to save his par. Which will put Yuli in second place overall. He remains the three strokes behind. He shoots a 10 under, as did MJ. And guys, I need you to, again, tell me what your favorite disc color is. That'll make you eligible for that giveaway or and or be a Patreon subscriber of the Disc Golf Guy, and you could win from Six Sided Disc. Huge shout out, Scorpion Disc Golf, along with Six Sided Disc. Thank you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate all of the support. There's your final standings. MJ takes it down. I catch up with him, and here's what he has to say. I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and that was my video blog. Joining us now is MJ, Michael Johansson, and taking it down today. Love that first thing. How does it feel? Uh, it was nice to not have to play in the pouring rain this morning or in the too much snow so it was fun though we sloppy. saw some yeah some slipping and sliding <laughs> yeah. uh, especially during the first round not as much in the second round uh tell everyone what the weather was like for you today as uh, as this rolled in for the event well we had snow and sleet and ice overnight so it wasn't a lot but enough for here to make a mess <laughs> and it's been a wet winter so the course is pretty sloppy with the new tee pads and there was definitely a lot of slipping on those this morning unfortunately so this morning you came out, you had the hot round over at the Angry Beaver course. They watched some of the play already from that. Uh, tell us how tough that course really is. It is not easy. It will be better when you get concrete, the tee's done. But as of now, it's hard to stay. If you miss the fairway, you're just good luck. You know. So, But it's it's got a lot of tough angles and a lot of good gap shots. It's Brad has done a lot of good work. Brad Ramsey's done a lot of good work bringing this course up to par again. And then you come out to the much easier course. <laughs> and uh, is there any added pressure knowing that so many of the holes should be birdied? Yes and no, but uh, it's more along the lines you feel a little less pressure when you've got a bit of a lead. Uh, if you're sitting there thinking three, four back, you got to go hard. Right, I got to get, you know, a basic guy, you're going to shoot 10, basically. So a lot of people can shoot nine or 10. So now I got to shoot 12, 13, 14. That, it's a little harder. And. Of course, we're just a few weeks away from seeing the West Coast open up with the swing, uh, Vegas, Memorial, uh, all those types of events. But you're staying a little more uh, East Coast this year to get things started? Yeah, I'll stay East Coast until we get to, I'll play Jonesboro and Mid-America, and then it's kind of spotty until we get to like um, after Masters Worlds and then around that and with like D-Glow and stuff like that. And then I'll be back on tour from there, Al, pretty much. And so do we see you dabbling a little more in the, uh, dabbling in the Masters field? I will move over a little more often yes especially when you get to some of the more open courses on some of the places where it's just I, that's hard to keep up with the kids when they're half your age <laughs> uh, I, I know uh, your putting picked up here during the second round tell everyone real quick about uh, what was working up out there for you today and thank any sponsors you got uh, I gotta thank my sponsor Discraft and I gotta thank uh, PharmaCBD.com but you know mostly it was just uh, some good banger throws kept me in line and a couple of nice every once in a while a couple of good comet shots kept me in there and kept it going all right, well, this is MJ Michael Johansson, your champion here at Love at First Sting. Congratulations, and uh, we'll see you around on the tour sometime. Thanks, Terry.